Have you ever felt that something or someone was working behind the scenes in your life and you didn't really understand what was happening? That is what Jacob Watson experienced in his early 20s. Jacob was caught in a lifestyle of drugs, money, going in and out of jail, psych wards, and needed help beyond himself. He was in trouble, big trouble. But where would he turn? Now, Jacob kind of heard about Jesus growing up in a Christian home, but it was really only a name to him, but that would change. Jacob, welcome to 100 Huntley Street. Thank you. So, you, you grew up in the Christian home, wonderful parents, good family, but you turned to drugs. What happened? Um, well, I think of what a lot of what happened was spiritual. Um, obviously, there's a different kingdom working in this uh, world and a different force working in this world. And I'd say the Christian home I grew up in at the time was more of a lukewarm, maybe to me it was more of a religious, Jesus was just a name. Uh, there wasn't any deep roots or, you know, I could have been a seed that just never rooted deeply. Okay. Um, I also had a lot of preaching done, but not a lot of teaching and things like uh, unforgiveness and bitterness towards uh, certain things that happened growing up and the impact of... Um, living in a lukewarm home. So if I'm being honest, what looked good and was told this is good and this is of God and stuff, there's some stuff going on behind the scenes that wasn't never addressed and it was kind of in the dark. It wasn't matching up to what you thought it should be. Spiritually, like physically everything looked fine and uh, okay. dandy, yeah. but there was some stuff going on that was hidden, which, you know, Jesus said uh, bad fruit, a bad tree can only produce bad fruit. Yeah. And sometimes stuff looks like good fruit, but it is actually bad fruit. And regardless if it looks good, it's still going to affect you the same as bad fruit. So, um, yeah, I think I just let a lot of unforgiveness and a lot of bitterness and a lot of generational stuff kind of tag in. But what happened is in grade seven and grade eight, I started developing like crippling anxiety. And I had no idea what the cause of it was. And I wasn't able to be myself around my friends at school. That led to people uh, picking on me and you know what I mean? Yeah, Just so it led to some insecurities, right? Yeah, yeah. And you started acting out, got involved in drugs and... Yeah, so that, that happened a little after. Like, it was two years of this, like, manifestation of just crippling anxiety. And it started making... And I was afraid to tell people that, too. So I was coming home and acting like everything was okay. And then I was going to school and living, like, almost a different life. And that kind of manifested into an anger, a bitterness, which defiles everything, you know what I mean, when you hold on to bitterness. And by the time I got into high school, that turned into such a hatred and I had such a wrong perspective. All my life I was growing up saying, this is love, this is love, but it wasn't connecting. Was it penetrating you? Yeah, it wasn't connecting spiritually, right? Like it wasn't being received as love. It was being spoken as love, but it wasn't being received as love. So you're, you've got these insecurities, uh, maybe facing some bullying. Uh, you act out, you start doing drugs, and then you do things that you shouldn't do and get you in jail. What yeah. Happened? Yeah, so it just snowballed. It, like, it started off really harmless, and uh, it was just rebellion, and it just snowballed over the years, and I started... What I seen was a lot of people getting a lot of praise for bad things, and, like, that was being glorified, you know, fighting drugs, oh, if you want to be, if you want the attention and you want to be the cool person, you got to do this. Sure. You want to be accepted, yeah. you have to do this. Um, and I just, I don't even know what happened, man. I just had this darkness come over me that just started such a craving to have that and have that glorification and have that being exalted in that type of way that it started out harmless. And then throughout high school, it started out simple and it just snowballed into more drugs. I ended up dropping out of high school. Um, I ended up getting this passion of like, okay, like I'm not good at school. I'm a failure. So I'm going to make money. Um, I got involved in some relationships that... They, they weren't good relationships at all. And that kind of snowballed into um, jail. Uh, so we're talking about bad relationships. You're talking about people that were what? Selling drugs and yeah, yeah. Well, I, doing illegal yeah, things? Yeah, I, I dated a girl that uh, kind of pushed all that and um, her mom was into that. And like I was sold, once I seen all that, like I was sold right into that lifestyle. How long did you spend in jail? Um, so I went to jail tw twice. The first time was six months, and the second time I was on house arrest for four months, and then I ended up running away from house arrest. Um, I made it to Stratford. The cops chased me down. They grabbed me in Stratford. I ended up doing six months in jail for trafficking, and then a year after I got out, I went back. Uh, the police, the girl's house I was staying at, the police raided the house, 
and I ended up back in jail for, I was just in jail for a month that time and then my charges were dropped from someone else taking them. How old were you at the time? I was 18 and 19. Okay, and things get even worse. There's a health, beyond a health scare. We're going to talk about that with Jacob Watson right after this on 100 Huntley Street.